Rick Aggiano here for Ghosts on the Coast, along with a friend of mine, Jake Reed, who, uh, welcome back. It's been, it's been a long time since sure we've has. investigated together. Uh, Jake and I used to host Haunted Travels, which was another YouTube web series for the paranormal. We did that from 2013 to 2015. And that big event that we always talk about that happened here, the shadow movement in the window, he was there. Um, he was affected by it. Yes. And Absolutely. This is the first time we've investigated together in about two years. Yeah. Right. So uh, early, early 2015, and he's actually going to tell us a little bit about that night, how it affected him, and what happened when you went home. Yeah. So, first of all, that whole night was insane. That, that I've never ever seen anything like that. I'm sure I never will again. But uh, leaving there, I was scared the whole night. I just did not feel well. Everyone was like, oh, you're fine. Like, quit being a little baby. And uh, I was like, no, just something's going on. Like, and I can just tell. And usually I'm not like that. Usually I'm just like, whatever. Let's just go with the flow. But uh, just that night was, there was something up. So then we went outside. I think, I don't know who saw it in the window first. You know, it was, let's say, so me and Lou were the last ones out here shutting the lights off. It was you, Hunter, and RJ outside. Yeah. So one of, one of you guys spotted it. Yeah, I don't remember who saw it, but after seeing that whole thing live with my own eyes, I, it, as weird as it sounds, it changed me. That's like just the way I look at paranormal things like that. But um, I wanted to go to three different places on our way home just to not go straight home. I was terrified. Like that was one of the scariest things that's ever happened. And uh, I usually don't get too scared too easily with this kind of things, but that just it threw me off. But it was so bad we ended up at the Red Oak Diner. <laughs> But uh, what happened was, um, when I got home, I just it took me a long. I didn't get to sleep until about four o'clock. We didn't get home until about two, two thirty. Yeah, it was. And I just just thinking about what happened was, just it was just running through my mind all day, all night. And uh, what happened was, I was just about to fall asleep, and I just heard some weird noise in my closet, and I just didn't think of anything. It was whatever. And then five minutes later, bang, just straight thud. And I jumped right up out of my bed, like, what's going on? And uh, I turn all my lights on, and I open my closet door, and all of my Hess trucks that I haven't touched in years, which I get a new one for Christmas every year, because I collect them, and I put them up in the top shelf. And uh, every single one fell down onto the ground in my closet, and I just, my jaw dropped. I think I called you, mm -hmm. and I just didn't After know what to do. After in the morning. I just did not know what to do. So what I did was I just left it, didn't touch anything. Slept in the living room that night, and then went back in the morning to fix it up, but it was just one of the craziest things that's ever happened. It's the only time we've ever been scared, and I try telling people that if you watch that video, because that, that was shot for Haunted Travels, it's up on Ghost on the Coast just because we talk about it all the time. Um, so let's see, we've done 90 episodes of Ghost on the Coast, Haunted Travels is about 45. Yeah. That's a lot of footage, and that's the only time we're ever scared. Yeah, and you could tell in all the voices, we're all freaking out, screaming. Yeah, we're cursing. We don't really curse on this. I mean, every once in a while, yeah, but that night, we were just, like, we were terrified. Yeah. It was one of those nights that we, I always tell people when I go around talking about paranormal that it's really not scary. It's never usually scary. Uh, that's the one time that, that really did get to us. And uh, the reason why I wanted to bring him back here is that we ha we've had this two-year lapse between Haunted Travels and Ghosts on the Coast, and it was scheduling conflicts kind of prevented Haunted Travels from continuing. Um, we had a lot of fun. We all still hang out and everything. Um, but actually, Ghost hunting back together, even Jason behind the camera, he was on Haunted Travels as well. So this is like our, our, mini, uh, reunion. our mini reunion here. Um, so this is the first, not the first time he's been back here since, but it's the first time we've, we've investigated together uh, since that night. Um, Jake has kindly brought along a couple of really cool pieces. There's a REM pod up behind him, which uh, senses electromagnetic energy, kind of like this, only that will actually beep and go off. It's actually really loud. It's obnoxious. Yeah, it's like, you know, like a fire alarm going off. And then this is the best thing ever, which uh, we don't have one for Ghosts on the Coast because every time I went to go look and buy one, they were sold out. This is an Ovulus 3. You must be one of the last people to get one of these. Guess so. Looks um, like a dinosaur. And you can if you see on there, it says the word business on there. That was the last word to come through. Now, the thing with this, it's kind of like the ghost radar on the phone, only this tends to be highly accurate, and it does not go off as much as that. The ghost radar app, we always, 
you know, we're trying to figure out is it real or not. Sometimes things come through that are spot on, but a lot of times we get words that are just yeah, random. random. But the words that are spot on are just, yeah. it blows your mind. This here, as um, soon as we came in today, we turned this on, and the word came up and said Apple. And it's like, well, wait, what Apple in, in the museum? What does that mean? Um, right behind where the obelisk was, there was a basket of fake apples. And then a little bit later on, it said something we were talking about. Uh, it said mommy, and then it said doll. Doll. And we have some, there's dolls all over the place. We have those antique baby characters everywhere. And then, oh, I went to look outside to see if Jay was here, and I came back, and it said outside. Almost as if I, it, it saw me go and look outside. Uh, Jay was not there. Jay was late today. <laughs> Can you say late? Can you say Jay was late? Um, it forgives you, I guess. Yeah. And so do I. Thank you. I don't. <laughs> um, so yeah, so these two pieces of room, we're not really shooting a huge thing. This is two days after Halloween. I just posted a vlog yesterday saying that usually the first three weeks of November was kind of like our detox where we don't do anything, and here we are the next day shooting a couple videos. But um, Haunted Travels was great. Those videos are still all up on YouTube. If you just type in Haunted Travels or your name, it should come yeah. up. And we had we had a lot of fun doing that. Absolutely. It, it was one of the best times ever. We should talk about the Al Air investigation. Okay. Uh, the Al Air investigation, the, the caretaker. The, the, uh, yeah, I, don't we, I remember most of it. There was a, a so caretaker. This was the last big investigation we That's did. Probably the biggest one we've ever done. Yeah, I mean, Get it was. Get around a golf cart. Yeah, and, and funny that you mentioned that. that we, there was a caretaker that he was leading us around, and he did not believe in ghosts. He hated the whole paranormal. He was downright nasty. And I say this because he was not nasty by the end of the night. Hated all this stuff. I've worked here 30 years. I've never seen anything like this. By the end of the night, he became a firm believer. He was driving us around in the golf cart all over Allaire Village, which if you've been there, it's pretty big to be walking around lugging all this equipment around. Um, we had uh, Tom Burke, our friend and historical consultant with us. He walked into a room. The, the name Tom came through on the spirit box right in front of the caretaker who was just totally blown away. Um, the blacksmith when we walked into the blacksmith the shop. blacksmith shop yeah I mean there was just those videos are all on YouTube there's too yeah there's a reenactment weekend yeah we had a civil war uh, not we they had a civil war encampment going on uh, why did they want to talk about Alaire oh I, I guess just to say that you know we, we did a lot of good good stuff on there and those videos are all in HD I think those were shot with the new camera yeah um, I think I got scratched that night too my neck yes you did because I was just looking through the pictures before you had a scratch right here mm -hmm. Um, he's one of the only people that has ever gotten scratched on any of our investigations. They, they must like you. I, or not. I don't know. It's a little uh, weird. But I've never been, like, scratched like that. Um, he has a couple times, though. But, yeah, that's going to do it for this vlog episode. Just kind of like a, a mini reunion. We're going to be posting a few more episodes after that filming here. Hopefully we'll get some more stuff on the Ovulus for you and also the Spirit Box. So, uh, for Jake Reed and Jason Korloff, I'm Greg Caggiano. Thank you for watching.